Welcome, this is Pastor Patrick Angora again. Uh, today we deal with another segment, another section of our topic that we began on Agape Love. And today we want to look at another feature of Agape Love, which is that this love is sacrificial. This love is sacrificial. Uh, I believe we all know what sacrifice is. Psalms 50 and verse 5 says, Gather to me my saints, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. We also know the story of David when he said uh, to King Arauna, after he, God demanded that he makes sacrifice for something he committed, a sin that he committed, uh, to, to, to number the, 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 the soldiers that he had, and he told him, the king was willing to give him for free, but he told him, I will not take it for free. I will surely pay a price for it. And he said, I shall never give to God anything that costs me nothing. So if it doesn't cost you anything, then it is not a sacrifice. A lot of people want to give out of convenience, even when they're giving in church or they're giving their time. It's free time. It has to be free. It has to be, it doesn't have to cost them anything. The scriptures told us clearly in Psalms 50 and verse 5 that it has to be by sacrifice. So, agape love is sacrificial love. This love, as we said already, is intentional and it desires another's uh, highest good. So, it's not concerned about itself, it's concerned about somebody else. It's out looking uh, as opposed to being inward looking. So it looks for the good of the person outside. Uh, it says uh, in Romans chapter 13 verse 10, love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Uh, we saw this even earlier, that this sort of love fulfills, uh, scripture says that it fulfills the law. So when we are worried about ourselves, then we can't love sacrificially. When we are so concerned about ourselves, then it's just going to be about you. It's just going to be a ring around yourself and you're not going to be able to break through that ring and help the person outside. Agape love requires that you break through and reach out to the person outside yourself. So a person who loves with agape love never says what is in, what is in there for me? Uh, what is it? What cut do I have in this thing? So for them, they're looking to serve um, the people outside themselves. I'll just look at two portions of scripture that talk about people that sacrificially loved, people that led late. One of them is Paul. Uh, Paul talks about the children of Israel in Romans 9 verse 1 to 4. He says, I am telling the truth because I belong to the Messiah. I am not lying and my conscience confirms it by means of the Holy Spirit. I have deep sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart for I could wish that I myself were condemned and cut off from the Messiah for the sake of my brothers my own people who are Israelites. To them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. Can you imagine? Paul is saying, uh, uh, I wish, if it is to cut off, I wish I could be cut off, uh, but not my people. So this is a man with burning agape love. He's so concerned, he's so, you know, taken up by the welfare of the children of Israel than himself. He says, if, if it is anything, let it happen to me. We also read about uh, Moses. Moses who had the same experience about the people that he was leading. He said in Exodus 32 and verse 32, but now if you will only forgive their sin, but if not, erase my name from the record you have written. So Moses is saying, just delete my name. So you see, that's the nature of agape love. It lives for another person, not for the person sharing this love. So he says, just delete my name. Just efface my name and, and, and let them be than myself. So this is sacrificial. If you are not willing to sacrifice, you're not going to, you're going to love with something else, but not with this type of love. Agape love is outward looking. It's concerned about the well-being of those outside than really the one who is extending the love. So I invite you and remind you again that God has called us. The Bible has told us that He poured His love in us. He's called us to love with this love. 
May God bless you as you begin to sacrifice in your love. God bless you.